my first uh, impression of Hilda, here's somebody that's just like me, somebody that understands uh, what immigrants and what poor people, what working people go through. And uh, in over 20 years, you know, that's who she is. I've never been disappointed in her, and as a matter of fact, I couldn't be prouder of her now. Well, Hilda comes from a very humble background. Her, you know, her, her parents were immigrants, and uh, they were working people. Her father was a union man, and uh, they're both workers. And, and, and she, she holds on to that background and her, that heritage that she has, and, and she brags about it. You know, she doesn't try to shy away from it. Even uh, when you think of where Hilda lives, she lives in a very humble neighborhood. Uh, I like to call her Hilda from the hood, you know? <laughs> if you look at an influence, on a person. Uh, it always is family, and in this case, uh, it, that is absolutely true. And, and when I saw them together, and her introducing her family to me and my wife, uh, you could sense the pride. I think that's, that's her soul. When she ran for Congress, nobody thought Hilda could win, but she had that strong support from the community, from students, community people, labor people. The challenge was around issues of labor, labor rights, unionization, equal treatment, addressing the needs of poor people that weren't being addressed. She went against the odds and uh, convincingly beat those odds. Hilda Solis is a woman of vision. She can see what needs to be done and she knows how to do it. If you look at her legislation, you see there's a theme through it. It's about fairness, it's about equity, and fundamentally it's about justice. Uh, and so. I think if there's anything that drives her, it's, it's that desire to make things better. She is a tremendous uh, leader in our community, and uh, I have uh, not only the greatest respect, but admiration for what she's accomplished. Her whole life is dedicated to helping people in her uh, communities, uh, whether it was a congressional district before, when she was a congresswoman, or now that she's a secretary of labor, she really gives her all uh, to the task that she has. And now, she's, of course, she's doing that for, for the working people of, of the United States of America. I'm so proud that for the first time in a long, long time, we actually have a Department of Labor because in the past, it's been more of a Department of Management. And now, I, what I see Ilda speaking up for ensuring that wage and hour laws are adhered to, that she's building up the number of inspectors that are available to go out and make sure that people aren't being cheated. When I see her speaking out for enforcing the health and safety laws, I think what she's doing is not only standing up for the rights of workers in this country, but I think at the same time, she's also letting the American people know that we are a nation of immigrants and that workers play a critical role in the success of this country. She'll be remembered as a pioneer, but more importantly, as, uh, as someone that did it, as Frank Sinatra likes to say, her way. She exemplifies the best of the immigrant spirit. When we look at her and we say, you know, she accomplished so many things, she's paving the road for us because we too can do more. This is a tribute to Hilda. It's not the closing of a book. There's so much ahead of her. Uh, her whole life is about her work and her family. And it's never about Hilda. It's always about everybody else. Viva Hilda Solis. <laughs>